Here's Chris Schenkel. This is a flashback of the Arguella Escalero title bout in Puerto Rico in January when Alexei Arguella of Nicaragua won the Super Featherweight Championship from Escalera. That's Arguella, taller of the two on the far side. He has all the tools of his trade. A solid defense, every punch, and just as important, total confidence in his own ability. One of the truly super fighters in any division. On the left, the challenger, ranked number four in the world, reportedly undefeated southpaw, 25 professional fights. Ray Tam arriving on Wednesday for this scheduled 15-round championship bout. So stay tuned. We're in the forum. Live, lots of action in the super featherweight division. It's a 15-rounder. This is a live shot from the Forum in Englewood, California. Today, the World Super Featherweight Championship. Alexi Arguello of Nicaragua, the champion, meets reportedly undefeated Ray Tam of the Philippines in a scheduled 15-round World Super Featherweight Championship fight here on ABC's Wide World of Sports. With you, we look forward to getting another look at the 26-year-old champion from Nicaragua. Five feet, 10 inches tall, 45 knockouts, 14 one-round knockouts, and he truly has to be one of the three super fighters Ladies in any division today. To That's now. Alexei Aragua. Terrific, and Ray Tam is somewhat of a mystery here in the Los Angeles area. He had visa troubles. Getting out of Manila very late, arriving here on Wednesday, did not spar at all, did road work. And then, to add to the complications today, the super featherweight limit is 130 pounds. Ray Tam came in at 132, went to the steam room and shed two and a quarter pounds. Now, for the tinier fellows, the lighter divisions, that could take a lot of steam out of his punches. His manager says he's had 33 fights we can unofficially account for about 25. They said he's more of a puncher than he is a boxer, yet he has had only 13 knockouts. The great thing about the champion is this. In over 50 fights, he has averaged a little over four rounds per fight. You'll like him. He's a plotter, he's patient. He's in the ring now. Jeff Temkin is the ring announcer here at the Forum in Los Angeles, California. And now the champion is introduced. The referee, a forder, former fighter himself, Rudy Jordan now, giving instructions. Uh, both are Spanish-speaking uh, super featherweights. With his back to us, the champion, Arguello, can also speak English, and he's somewhat of a paradox. He has a ingratiating personality, but when things get serious, as we talked to him in the dressing room earlier, he has the look of an eagle. Total confidence in his ability He's coming back here for the first time since 74 at the Forum where he won the featherweight championship, a 13-round victory over a great fighter named Ruben Oliveras. And this is where Alexi of Nicaragua really grew up. Now, four inches shorter is this 26-year-old from the Philippines just outside of Manila. And there you see going into his southpaw stance. He's in the white trunks, Ray Tam, 129 and three quarters, the champion in the red trunks, if you're watching in color, 129 and a half. This, uh, we have called it, of course, the World Boxing Council. This division is called the Super Featherweight Division, the limit being 130 pounds. It is often referred to as the Junior Lightweight Division, the lightweight maximum being 135 pounds, whereas the Featherweight Division is 126. Light, long, he takes his time, he's just waiting. You see he has a nifty left jab. Keeps that right hand cocked in a hitting position at all times. Alexi Arguello of Nicaragua. Ray Tam in the white trunks. It just shows no emotion whatsoever. The rules of the California Athletic Commission, a 10 point must scoring system. In other words, the winner of a round, you must give him 10 points and um, a lesser number for the loser of the round. There is a mandatory eight count. You cannot be saved by the bell except after the last or what is scheduled 15 round here in this championship bout. There are two judges and one referee and each of them do the scoring along with you. 10 point must remember. This is a probing round. 
Alexei told me he's on the left, but uh, Cam was a mystery. Couldn't find out much about him. Cam from a boxing family. Good body punch by the Filipino. Flash Alorty, a junior lightweight champion for the Philippines, was also a southpaw. And, and like Tam of the white trunks, a vegetarian. Nice little right hand body punch and a good left hook by the champion. Right uppercut. Now you've seen almost every punch that any fighter can throw by the champion. Aguayo. He's married, Aguayo. Father of one, or as Tam in the white trunks, father of two sons, has two young brothers who fight in the bantamweight division in the Orient. Beautiful uh, left hand lead. That can be dangerous. Ooh, and there it exchanged solid punches. Very solid, believe me. Neither showing the effects of the punches. Less than 30 seconds remaining in the first round of a scheduled 15 rounder from the forum. could develop into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. They're, they're both willing. It's obvious here in the first round, the late stages of it. You'll hear the bell in less than 10 seconds. Round one. In his first title defense in the red trunks, Alex Arguello of Nicaragua won the title as seen here on ABC's Wide World of Sports in January, upsetting Alfredo Escalera in Puerto Rico. Second round, four inches shorter, a much shorter reach, and the southpaw in the white trunks is Ray Tam of the Philippines, the Oriental champion. Beautiful mixing up of the punches by the champion. Look at that beautiful work. Constantly moving the dukes and the body. He'll pick off punches with that solid defense. He has been caught in the body with a couple of good shots by Tam in, the, in white in the first round. Supposedly Tam has never been down, has never been knocked out. This is the supreme test for the number four ranked challenger on the left. Neither fighter wants to lead. They both love to counter punch. Well, at times you'll have almost an impasse. There's a right-hand lead. Tam and White better keep that left hand up a little higher. Aguayo hopes to fight Roberto Duran, the 135-pound champion who won a couple of nights ago again in New York City. And if that fight is ever made, I not only want to do it, but I at least want to see it. Two of the classic boxers in the ring today. The other being Zarate, who will be on our fight card June 9th in Las Vegas, the Norton Holmes championship fight. Zarate in a Bantamweight championship fight. And then Jimmy Young going against a young heavyweight named uh, Acasio. Second round, a little slow. Remember, it's scheduled for 15. Ray Tam reportedly has gone 10 rounds six times, 12 rounds twice. Whereas the champion on the left, probing with that, just waiting to get that right hand through, has gone 10 rounds seven times, 15 rounds once. Nice one, two by the champion, Arguello. Aguayo, always flat-footed, can move from that stance, however. Five seconds, and you'll hear the bell, round two. This is the 22-foot square ring at the Forum in Englewood, California, right near the Los Angeles airport. And the red trunks leading with those left jabs. That is the super featherweight champion, 130-pound limit, Alexei Aguayo of Nicaragua. Tremendous boxer puncher. The challenger, ranked number four in the world from the Philippines in white, Ray Tam. You just joined us, the first two rounds uh, we scored 
the 10 point must for Arguello on the left. Reminder that after this round, we'll allow our local stations along the line to identify themselves. Aguayo on the far side. He's uh, 26 years old. He loves to uh, get against the ropes. He says it gives him a lot of leverage. Now, let's see if he'll use it. Loves to get there and then start throwing uh, combinations in particular like that. But Tam of the Philippines has taken the best shots thus far of Aguero of Nicaragua. World boxing uh, console champion on the right. Ranked number four by the WBC on the left, Tam. You can see the difference in reach. Nearly four inches, and believe me, that's a lot. And for Tam and White to shed two and a quarter pounds to make the championship weight limit of 130. Had to be uh, very sapping of his strength, which had to be tested with a 14-hour plane ride and a long wait in getting his visa in order in Manila. Being very, very cautious and rightfully so against the champion. Side of him. Took a tremendous left hook and came back with his own combination. Now many of those punches are being caught in the arm by the champion of Royal Nicaragua. 20 seconds till the bell. Living up to their um, they're billing toe-to-toe -to -toe sluggers. We'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local station. champion Alexi Aguayo of Nicaragua. We move into the fourth round. There have been no knockdowns. Absorbing punches like that in rounds two and three from the Philippines in the white trunks. Ray Tan, the Oriental champion. He's taken them all. We haven't seen his knees buckled and he's a very willing opponent. Very willing a challenger. Look at him try to pick off some of the uh, lead jabs, left jabs by the champion. I notice Tam is uh, spreading his stance. A little more punching power from a widened stance. Remember, he's a southpaw. Aguayo occasionally moving to uh, his left. Sam and White has received a lot of left hooks that get in there so rapidly they're almost hard to detect. That'll tell in the later rounds of the scheduled 15 round Super Federal Championship fight. Rudy Jordan is the referee of the scheduled 15 rounder. Two judges are Richard Steele and Ed Fierro. Ten point must. <laughs> the 
Here in the fourth round, it appears that both would like to uh, end it all with one shot. The way they're waiting. Body fakes. Trying to find that opening. The quicker hands, of course, are those of the champion. On the right, the red trunks. Occasionally now in the fourth round with in scoring range, wide apart. Ooh, a right hand lead. Exactly what our barrel is looking for. Another one. And that's right over Ray Tam's power left hand. The southpaw. We're going to be going back to Frank Gifford in our New York studio for some sports news and then return for the fifth round here in Los Angeles. And now the fifth round, scheduled 15 round super featherweight championship fight. The champion with his back to us at 5'10, 129 and a half. The challenger from the Philippines, who has taken Aguero's best shots in the first four rounds. Unofficially and reportedly, Sam on the white trunks has had 25 bouts undefeated. 13 knockouts. Aguero on the left has won his last 23 bouts. Tries to soften him up a bit with some body punches, but he's Tam when White is so short coupled, it's hard to get some of them through to the midsection. And keeps those elbows tucked in tight. No knockdowns, neither fighter marked. Oh, solid right hand to the chin. Tam took it, loves to counter punch. Jordan, the referee, steps in and rubbery knee, spaghetti legs, Tam. With about a minute to go, the challenger gives up, and wisely so because he was meeting a much finer fighter, one of the super fighters in all of boxing, 26 year old Alexi Aguero. With a tremendous salvo of punches, that's Al Salvani on the right, Aguero's trainer, a man of many motion pictures, worked with Rocky uh, Graziano, Floyd Patterson, Jake Lamato, and in his first title defense as a world super featherweight champion, Aguero has done it. You saw on Wide World of Sports, his upsetting Alfredo Escalera for the title. And today, in against reportedly undefeated Ray Tam and I, after watching him box the first four rounds and punch no reason to disbelieve it because he was more than a worthy opponent but the champion is just too good here it is in slow motion look at the salvo of punches the combination and remember that Tam took his Aguero's best shots through the first four rounds just look at the accuracy and the boxing skill by the Nicaraguan from Managua Rudy Jordan stopping the boat at one minute, 54 seconds Tremendous the balance. Five, the win by Rudy Jordan, Jordan, the referee, was close by, watching very, very careful as the eagle eye Nicaraguan just kept peppering away, and Tam turned his back, headed toward his corner. So there is a happy 26-year-old with the referee, Al Silvani on the left, Don King, and of course, we're going to take a look had a good lesson in boxing and punching by the champion. Here it is again. There's that left hook, which sets him up for a right. Another glancing left hook. Another. 
uppercut with the left hand. That is an artist. Mindful of the days of Sugar Ray Robinson, as a welterweight in particular. This is a super featherweight world champion. We don't have the official time yet, but it was uh, about a minute to go, we assume, in round five. So retaining his championship, Alexi Aguayos. We're going to return to Frank Gifford in uh, New York City. So Frank here in your old stomping grounds. It's a beautiful day. We hope it is where you are.